man! Check it out! I could die! Woo! Sebastian, your suit! Oh. Ah! My parents are inviting us to the summer place for the big 4th of July weekend. I can't leave my father. This is the first summer since we have to say goodbye to your dear mother, and you're going to leave me to burn the sparklers and eat the hot dogs alone! Why don't we just bring him? Nah, I don't think so. You hear this? Ladies. He's worried his immigrant father's gonna make him look like some kind of goomba. Right, listen, if we're gonna do this, Dad, you gotta dial it down with the... the, the what all the... the oh, this, this, what, 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 what is this? Welcome to White Oak. Wow, this is amazing. Hey, my little pants here. Yeah? It's called love and affection, then. Unlike you, when you met me at the delivery room, you chose to shake my hand. What else was I supposed to do? We just met. Only in Sebastian, I don't know how you're gonna fit in. Wait, what did she do? Where's my cheek? Where's my cheek? Don't these people have jobs? They got their money in the stock market, not in mayonnaise jars buried in their backyard. I just hope nothing gets stolen this weekend because these people love to blame the immigrants. We'll give you the grand tour. This is Doug. He's learning to be a healer. Hello. What are you doing? Just serenading our pet peacock. I love you. These people are strange. They have birds for pets. He's like me. Peacocks are just a bunch of goddamn show-offs, if you ask me. I was nervous to bring you here, but I didn't know you were going to spend the whole time embarrassing me. <laughs> How could you say that to your father? Here we go again. Everything I'm doing for you that I've ever done for you is for your own good. Hey, Dad, check it out. I could die. I'm trying to make sure that you don't make an ass out of yourself by trying to be somebody you're not. Woo! Oh, my gosh. Oh, shit. Sebastian, your suit. It's Versace. Do you like it? No, you moron. It's not up. I would love to make a full Italian dinner for everybody. We don't keep a lot of food here. A man of scout who always finds a way to feed his family. Now's the time that we need. My father has an old Italian saying, family isn't one important thing, it's everything. I can't believe you put this all together from what we have in the kitchen. Yeah. It's artichoke and poultry. So, so. Oh, no. Fed him their pet peacock, and you thought I was crazy for worrying that you were gonna make us look like some bad Italian stamp. No time. That's right. To help me get rid of the evidence. Why does it seem like you've done this before? I was just wondering if you wanted to, um, you know, go out sometime. You wanna get a coffee? Now? <laughs> yes, now. I'll just hang on. <laughs> You'll see. Any word? She ghosted him. I bet she hasn't even seen your text. She does travel a lot for work. Go to her. I'm going to London. See, you get it. It's a grand romantic gesture. Yeah, that is amazing, mate. 5,000 miles to surprise a girl that you've only met once, especially if she's the one who ghosted you. No, no, she didn't ghost me. She just doesn't have an international calling plan. Oh, right. Where am I? Oh, God. You, you have the wrong guy? I'm a former. Wait, wait. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Can you walk, Gold? CIA. So confused. They kept asking me about the tax man. They asked you about the tax man? They didn't think I am a tax man. You're the tax man. Oh my god. Oh my god. You got me kidnapped and tortured all after one day. <gasps> I saw the rock. You're the one who flew to London. It was a romantic gesture! Get every bounty hunter on the continent. I want her alive. This is bigger than you and me. 
Did it never occur to you that he could be a foreign asset trying to compromise your mission? Who the hell are you? I'm the boyfriend. Do you trust me? Is that a joke? Sorry, I wasn't looking where I was going. Are you okay? Yeah, Are fine. Okay? Thanks, oh. bye. Oh. It's my fault. Let me help you up. I'm Elaine. Ten years ago, we created the robots who now do the tasks Americans once did. Thomas Newton was today sentenced to 28 years after he had an illegal robot double of himself. You hear that, robot? Yes, Charles. We need to be more careful. This new girl is different level. Well, I'm glad you've met a nice young lady. I need you completely focused on getting her horizontal for me. Put yourself on deprogram now, C2. This Charles guy really wants to bang me, so you'll have to take over tomorrow, E2. Yes, Elaine? I just don't want the night to end. I feel the same way. C2, where are you? We got the addresses mixed up. Go home immediately. <laughs> Where are you? You two and I are running away together. Please don't try to stop us. What are we gonna do? We're gonna have to work together and track them down. I have a slight trust issue with you. Well, maybe I have a slight trust issue with you as well. What if E2 and C2 really have fallen in love? Who knows what they're capable of? Whoever made them, they need to help us. We're not in the clear, but I managed to locate them. But we have to find them and destroy them. I beg your pardon? Wait. I need to pee and throw up. Possibly kill myself. Where's your bathroom? Really? They've completely stolen our lives. That's cringe. Oh, so cheesy. We need to set a trap. We need to break it. Holy sh! She's strong. Use the safe word. Kanye! Jesus! <laughs> They're not going to be obedient anymore. They're humanizing. <laughs> We're going to jail, Elaine. Hey, Charles. Don't pass me around like a joint. Don't say anything, okay? okay? Let me do the talking. Okay. Okay. You know why I stopped you? Mass murder. Charles. Do you know that feeling when you're doing exactly what you were put on the earth to do? The one where it's like everything inside you is moving together in harmony with the universe. No! Me neither. But, you know, one can hope, right? Wave to mommy, because she'll hate me even more than she already does if you don't. I seem to recall you saying that becoming a lawyer would only crush your soul. Yeah, it has. I'm running a business, and right now that business is getting a journalist and an ad of No. It's a one-off. No, no, and no. Who's a journalist? I have resigned my position here. I'm not interested. 20 grand says you are. Welcome to Bologna. President Venega, so nice to meet you. We must take a selfie. Um. You approve? Ah, it's great. There are so many wonderful things about my country. Stay here. What the hell just happened? Your one man's security detail happened. He's a hero. I'm with the president of a country in the middle of a coup. This is the scoop of a lifetime. You gotta be alive to have the scoop of a lifetime. <sighs> we never should have come. Let's go. You can't just leave him. Run! Run! <laughs> Did you help? I get up again, then I got to win. I get up again, then I got to win. What? Nothing. You still excited to cover a coup? Less and less, honestly. Where is Venegas? Here is Venegas! Go for Pandora! Hey! Not the time for coaching! Fuck, man! Oh my god! <sighs>
Oh, color me impressed, Mr. Petit. Not Petit at all. Run! God, it's me, Margaret. I'm here to speak to you today about your changing body. The blood is released through the vagina. Please, just do this one thing for me. Don't you just be normal and regular like everybody else? Just please, 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 please. What I feel. I've decided I want you to join my secret club. If you want to be in the club, then you have to wear a bra. Oh. Do you, you think you need one? Are you okay? You can tell me the truth. Ah! Fine, good, yes. We have the Campus Improvement Committee. Any volunteers? Social Committee. Fundraising Committee. <sighs> and how are you? I read that when you don't have any loved ones around, your life expectancy drops drastically, but you know, I've had a good run. It's it tiring. I'm trying so hard all the time, doesn't it? I don't know if I want to do this. Just so that we're ready. Please, God, let it be a lady. Us will look like that when we're 19. We must! We must! We must increase our trust! Dear Edith, you foxy ass old whore. Carry on. You really are a tricksy old fucker. And you're a sad, stinky bitch. In the end, I think it's just jealousy. I think we know who it is. Love our neighbour and I tried, but... I'll get you in the ball, sir! She's heinous. Edith, I didn't do it. I believe you may be charging an innocent. A woman police officer? Oh, look, a flying pig. Uh -huh. <laughs> I've got a daughter at home. Why would I risk it all? You want fucking in the nose holes, you old beetle. Beetle? Right. <laughs> if you meddle in my case, these will be on your wrists. In prison, Rose may find some kindred spirits. In prison? No, no, not the murderers or the rapists. I'm thinking more the drunks and the queers, maybe. Just trying to find a bright side. Oi! You daft old fucking slippery old fucking dodger. Why would I send a letter when I can just say it? I'd probably say that you look like fucking Queen Victoria shoved a fucking nettle up or a fucking pussy. I don't know. You stink of cum and shit and the cakes you make look like they've fallen out some fucking shit, fucking arsehole. Better. <laughs> I have a plan. Will you catch them in the act? What would your husband think? My husband isn't a live race, so he's not thinking a great deal. <laughs> I like you, Rose. I hate her! <laughs> you don't like the idea of me leaving this house, do you? I'm going to lose her. We're not standing for it. I've had one now. Everyone is going to know. It's German. I am Dr. Nandor Fodor, the world's foremost parapsychologist. I am not a skeptic. This is the strangest case I have ever encountered. A family living in a farmhouse claim a talking mongoose lives in their barn. Creature's name is Jeff. 
और कई बार सही कपाल था। A talking mongoose. The Irving family are peculiar. Did you observe this creature? No. No. I did hear it. We are going to the Isle of Man. I have almost 20 years of research in this field. You're here to see Jeff. Is the creature here? Well, because we can't see him, doesn't mean he ain't here. I see. The daughter is a ventriloquist. Dr. Fodor has a tremendous skepticism. Indeed. This is an inexplicable farce. I'd say the wee rascal is probably watching us right now. Everybody on this island has their Jap story. Tell me yours. You and I both know there ain't no Jap. Can you tell him to come out so we can see him? Is that him there? What is the Irving's motive? It strike me as con artists. We hear with our eyes as much as we do our ears. These people are lying. I think he exists. I'm certain of it. Just show yourself. I mean you no harm. Please. Jeff! Just show me that you're real. Dr. Fodor, there's a call for you. This from him. H Hello? The patient has lost the ability to speak. He's not deaf and he's technically not mute. With the proper amount of care, it's possible that he could regain his understanding of the world, his ability to speak. What's our first course of action? Well, the state is not going to pay for any of that, so we are going to put his ass on the first bus downtown. What, what do you mean he won't get out of the trailer? Get in. Take a look at this guy. What about him? He's a dead ringer for you! The man don't look nothing like me. I mean, look at him, he's too short. I can finish the day for you. <laughs> Action! Cut! Latte pronto! Excuse me, Mr. Pronto. Can I call you Latte? Latte! Latte pronto! Latte pronto! Is that so, your oh name? God, oh, amazing. amazing. You and me are gonna do big things, pal. Bad respect, bro. Mo, Mo, stars coming through! Welcome to your team. You got me, your agent, got your manager, lawyer, publicist, personal assistant, plus we got you an intern. You have got a big film premiere tomorrow night. Does that make you a little nervous? <laughs> <laughs> this was a gift from Prince Harry. It was one of the original Knights of the Round Table sword or something. Can't really remember because I wasn't listening when he gave it to me. Make love to me, Latte. The phone is not ringing. Don't worry, pal. I'll get it back on top. I know you think what's been happening to your career is accidental. Everything is by design. Who are you really, Latte Pronto? Gotta get down, big time. Hey, Doc. Mm -hmm. I was thinking tonight could be a good night for sex night, possibly. Ooh. It's an interesting idea, but, you know, Thursdays. Stephen Laudem, how's the new opera coming along? Good, great, yes. great. We had discussed seeing a first draft of the score in two weeks. Two weeks. Is that still all right? I'm suffering from a temporary blockage at the moment. Flat. Is he 
feel right. He had a total breakdown after his last opera. Uh -huh. I can't do this. You need to take a walk. Jolt your brain out of its little rat pattern. Interact with a stranger. Okay, honey, I have a patient. Bye. Are we going that way? I keep imagining you naked. I don't know if you want to hear more details about these images. No. I bet every one of these people has a story for an opera in them, Levi. What do you do? I operate a tugboat. The wrong hands, this tug is a deadly weapon. I'm addicted to romance. Isn't everybody? I've been arrested for stalking. I had to go to rehab. And uh, I'm not supposed to be doing this. I can't believe that actually happened. I mean, she seduced me, right? She's a witch. The demented tugboat captain who lures men to her tugboat and kills them and eats them. I loved it. How did you come up with that? I was really angry at you. And now it turns out I'm your muse. Do what? Oh, Steve, I'll never leave you. Um. I love cleaning. Cleanliness is close to godliness. When my patients are talking, I imagine getting inside their heads with disinfectant and just scrubbing them down. Your tugboat captain came to see me. I'm in love. No, no! Just admit that I had a magic effect on you. My imagination came up with the story. My talent wrote the music. I mean, you don't kill men and eat them, do you? <laughs> well, I haven't yet. You know I can't resist a romantic story, even if I'm not in it. Mm. If you are watching this, just know, if you see this movie, you are an accessory to a crime. My name is Rick Klingman. I am an attorney and a political consultant. Some people might say, oh, that guy is a con artist. I know you guys. Or a fraud, or a dirty trickster, or he can't name all three branches of government. <laughs> and they're wrong. I am simply a truth provider. Every once in a while, someone will hire me to get their truth out there. Antonio Kelly Zank. Is he on Below Deck? He is running for Congress right here in Los Angeles. Oh, yes! And I have evidence that he may be a demon. It might be hard to prove. If it's true, that's a big deal. <laughs> but I think, yeah, you can do a little uh, digging on this guy. You're looking for dirt on Antonio. I need Simon. I'm in. He led the boycott of Chipotle when they started serving soy riso. You expose, you exploit. He's got a sex tape. Sex tape. We got a sex tape. Ah. Look at that, naughty boy. Is this it? That's him, that's his face. He grabbed my dick and, and snapped it back. He's hiding something, and we're gonna find it. There are other ways to make a living. Oh. You guys are idiots. I'm a lawyer, I'll see you in court. The more I think about it and talk about it, I start to believe their truth. Oh. What is wrong with you? Then it becomes the truth. At this point, we would like to open it up to any questions you might have. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, what was that? In a world on the brink of chaos, as darkness takes hold, three heroes emerge with big hearts and even bigger shoes. What are we looking at? I'm trapped in a box while screaming. <sighs> Okay, the other hand isn't helping. The world has gone dark. There's something big going on here, and if I'm right, it's bigger than all of us. Me and her have got a history and a future, by the looks of it. Oh, what the fuck are you doing? Did I read the moment wrong? The world was done with clowning. It moved on to TikTok dances and live streaming hand jobs on the dark web. And none of that works now. Everything is obsolete except us. The world is ours now. We're forming a troop. Clown Pedo. You know, like a torpedo of clowns. 
This is our chance to win back the woman that I love. If I don't make it out of there, tell the world I died with dignity. You want us to lie? Well, no. Just imply that I was wearing trousers. Laughter is the only sane response to a meaningless existence. Everyone dreams of dying doing what they love. Say we go out clowning. C'est du temps un peu avec mes gosses en fait. C'est un ordre, vous partez immédiatement. Pourquoi vous portez un costume bizarre comme ça yes C'est les justiciers les plus cool du monde. J'active la phase de rinçage. Espérez que ce soit vraiment de l'eau qui va se. <rire> Je suis en train de détruire une petite planète malade. Qu'on en finisse, on y va. Ta femme vous attend pour le souper. Oh merde. Je rêve où vos mamelles ont encore pris du volume. Hein Juste l'embrasser avec ce truc vert qui coule de sa bouche. Pas penser jusque là en fait. <rire> Think about the floor. Of course, naturally. I had gotten used to being one of the leaders in my last job. I was determined to build up the same position at work. That's how the coffee machine works. This is how the blinds work. Whenever anyone looked at me, I fired off a broad smile. A smile disarms your opponent and makes them doubt their own enmity. I stuck to my schedule when I first discovered the room. There was something special about this place. Answer me truthfully. What is this room for? Don't drag me into this. I found a secret room and when I work in there, I'm able to do anything. A secret room. It's just that most people aren't able to see it. Were you on drugs? What are you doing? What are you doing when you stand like that? What are you talking about? Do you have any idea what that's about? It's very strange. I say, fire him. If he's allowed to stand there like that, then I should be allowed to practice Reiki in the break area. There is no room, Orson. Didn't I tell you it was pointless to try and conduct psychological warfare against me? You have secrets hidden in there that for whatever reason you don't want me to see. But he's mental. Anyone can see that. I did try to warn you. I must insist that you stop going to it. You're different from the other people here. I can tell. Larson? Want to tell me how far in advance all of this got worked out? Was I even one of the original intended victims? What exactly is it that you want? I just want to do my job. They don't care about you. You're a number in a column on a spreadsheet. I could view the world as something ominous, looming. Or I could choose to see the light. I chose to see the light. Do you know what the greatest thing about America is? You can make things happen here like nowhere else. You have the power to create your own future. You can be anything. You can do anything.
You want to sell high-end stuffed Himalayan cats? Understuffed, actually, for greater posability. We're professionals. We're giving the people what they need. <laughs> Did you see the latest numbers? We broke the entire internet thing. You go big or you go home. Ty would tell you he did it all. <laughs> which is as crazy as believing stuffed animals are gold. Did you see the truck crash? Insane. <laughs> Poor beanies. This has always been my company. Company we created together. Why do you have to be so dramatic? I mean... My salary's been reduced 75%. Yeah, I'm just doing what's necessary. You know, running the real, actual business over here. My life is this company. I see where it's going. There are signs of real trouble. Genius is 1% inspiration, 99% presentation. That's not how the saying goes. <sighs> Everything good that's happened to me is because of you guys. We are bonded forever. Have you considered poisoning him? Countless times. <laughs> Have our perfect partners lined up. Jehovah's Witnesses, the greatest one-on-one -on -one salesman in the world. How brilliant is that? <sighs> I'm gonna go. You're dead to me. I only want to speak to Oprah Winfrey. Has she reached out? the zebra look the way it does? <laughs> so embarrassing. Hey, focus. Is this how it went? No, it's different now. Oh, you've been on my mind recently. Yeah? Because you keep popping up in my dreams. You don't do anything, you're just there. So, this specific person, the remarkable nobody, I don't still gonna have that experience. Do you have a picture? Have you been dreaming about me? Have I been dreaming about you? Yeah. There's like a hundred messages. Somebody wants to interview me. Well, this is strange. Maybe you should take a minute and think before you do anything drastic. Why me? Uh, I don't know. I'm special, I guess. How does it feel to go viral? Who's actually had a dream about me? Scaring me, but I'm going to have nightmares. I wish I was the one people were dreaming about. Me too. <laughs> yeah. No, it's it's something. How's he dealing with all this? We're not even the type of people that like attention, you know? Do you think other people are seeing you naked? Maybe thousands. Mm. I hope I'm behaving in your dreams. Oh, no, you're not. So I'm finally cool, huh? I didn't say that. You hear that, Janet? She's saying I'm a cool dad. Oh, <laughs> yep. I really feel like you're playing with fire here. Zachary, uh, help me! I'm not actually doing anything to them. You know, fame can come with some less desirable side effects. You should be prepared for that. Maybe we should cool this thing off. What? What do you mean? It's embarrassing. Which part? You're a dream to me, dream to me. I guess I'll, uh... Guess I'll see you in my dreams. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> of course not. Thanks. You work here? No, Esther, I'm picking up your trash because I don't work here. Dad, don't forget you have a dermatologist appointment today. Also, can you deposit mom's disability check? Growing up, I was told my parents were special. When I got old enough, I realized that's the word adults use when someone has a disability. Who's that? He looks thirsty. Look at her, the part of her brain that makes her horny is still working. 
She just wants to give him something to drink. It's the worst that could happen. I don't think they can take care of a child. What choice do we have? My mother named me after her favorite cartoon character. Hi, Bambi. Now you know what B is short for. But hey, at least we were happy. I know B's childhood was somewhat non-traditional. I don't want to do this anymore. You said it'll be fun, and it's not fun. You got to learn how to drive. I'm 10. But that hasn't stopped her from enjoying it. Well, everyone was busy worrying about my future. B, I'm still waiting on those college applications. Oh, I know. I was just trying to balance work, school, and caring for my parents. Is that why you never want me to come over? No. It's OK. Everyone's embarrassed by the parents. Hi. Come on in, man. <laughs> With your grades and extracurriculars, you have a shot at getting into any college. I can't. You can. No, I mean, I can't leave. My whole life, I've been torn between wanting to get away from my parents and wanting to care for them. Maybe because you do everything for them, you've convinced yourself that they're helpless. You spent a very long time worrying about other people. I think it's time to focus on you for a while. We are a family. But one of these days, you're going to move out. Get married. That's what kids are supposed to do. A whole new world with an unknown future. Shoot for the stars. You'll hit the roof. It's kind of a messed up saying. Well, that's how it goes. Maybe you just got a little stuck after high school. I did not peak in high school. Everybody say yeah. I have cancer. Oh, what? No. What kind of cancer do you have? Tonsil. Red pepper. Oh, yes. Okay. You know what? I think I have to go on this journey alone. You don't have cancer. Did you read my medical history? I could have cancer. I'm sorry, do you want cancer? We're gonna be here by your side through all of this. Friends to the end. <laughs> Not that you're gonna die soon. This cancer, did the doctor say it was from me? We didn't know not to smoke when we were pregnant. It was a different time. I never should have taken hallucinogenics, though. Why are you lying about having cancer? My friends are sleepwalking through their lives, and they were forgetting about me. These girls are my family. They matter on a level that blood never could. Yeah. We are having fun tonight. Normal behavior is super crucial for a speedy, healthy recovery. Yeah. Oh, there's both. Rough night? With me. If you're looking for sympathy, you're not gonna find it here. This is what it feels like to have cancer. Bottoms up, swallow. You know. My Ooh, is reckless. Yeah. This trip is what? Why are you giving us the stank eye? We got cancer. I don't have cancer. You don't have to lie to mask your fear. I'm not lying. Fibbing, you know, this is textbook behavior. Let's go, you bunch of hot messes. You still got a tap to pay. Hey! What's going on in there? I'm coming in. No, don't. If you are bald, we are bald. Is she OK? She's drunk. I told you, I'm on vacation. While I'm on vacation, I'ma just float. Come here, Mr. Parker. Sure. Mm, yeah. Marcus and Emily Parker, you have failed to notify your airline that you are registered sex offenders. What? <laughs> mm, what the hell is wrong with you? Look at us, all together again. We just wanted to give you guys a real honeymoon. Just found this crawling under our table. He's, He's crawling? crawling? It's yes. your first time! It's a prodigy! It's amazing! 
What are they doing letting us in a place this nice? How the hell did you get us in here? You didn't tell them. They're going to be long gone by the time I get into my work thing. You must be Mr. Parker. Apologies for the change in schedule. Mr. Young has invited you for drinks. All of you. Guys, I need you to be really cool. Can you do that for me? Who you're talking to? When have we ever not been cool? Dad! Literally just released from San Quentin. <laughs> I got you the best wedding present. What? Why does this Coke not taste cokey? Because it's your mom. I just look at your mom. It's really kind of beautiful if you think about it. No! This is not how I picture things going at all. It's cool, Marcus. It's cool. We floating, right? We floating. We float. I'm just swimming in a ah! Let me down! Get your hands off my wife! Ever since he showed up, he turned this relaxing family vacation into total chaos. Who does that? We have been through hell. Why don't we just go back? I knew it. Chicken. It's only one thing left to do, sir. Oh. I've never seen that much water come out of a person before. Did I throw up a lot? Your butthole threw up, bud. Oh. Good I'm putting a good word to Mr. Gist. That's not soap, by the way. It's maple syrup. Why? <laughs> Do you guys serve veggie burgers? I can serve anything on the menu. Good burger! Oh, it's Are you using a plunger to unclog the shake machine, as in the same plunger we use to unclog the toilet? Uh, no. It really means a lot that you came to see me. Well, you're my best friend. We're going to be opening mega good burgers in cities all over the world. From Hollywood to Hong Kong. Hong Kong is not a city. It's the name of an ape. King Kong. The game with the paddles? Ping pong. The sound a doorbell makes. Ding dong. What? We shut down the store. Shut it down. Shut, shut it down. down. I don't think you really understand. You're on fire. I like that fire. <laughs> fire. <laughs> it's hot. You just got hustled. Welcome to Good Burger. Can I take your order? Whoa. Megacorp wants to replace everybody with robots. We got to do something. We're going to change the world. Here's your burger. I asked for no ice, but there's ice in here. Ah, no problem, dude. I'll get you another one. Going to it on the east side. Damn. That's it. Oh, dude, I'm glad you're back. <gasps> Coming through! I'm here! What? Oh. Pebblebrook is threatening to sue us for mishandling his case. What? Your son is on line one. Sit down. Hey, my love, how's your first day going? I'm coming home. Honey, Steiners are not quitters, we're fighters. I'm not a fighter, I'm a daily upper decker. Oh, ah, 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 the way. Hey, it was him! Let's get him! I don't even know what that means. You went to undergrad at Barnett University. You were president of your sorority and popular with all the guys, right? I mean, yeah, I little look at you. My son is a really good kid, but he's a recluse. I would like to hire you to go back, take him under your wing. You would pay me to go back to Barnett? Yeah. Holly! I'm getting paid to go back to college, and you're gonna come with me. You know, I'm really sorry. Get back to your station. My apologies. Juice boxes for everybody. We have until homecoming to get this kid from zero to hero. Well, how are you supposed to do that? This is Polly, and I'm Molly. We're actually thinking about going to Stillwater. You should come with us. We could convince the girl to come with us. You know, I was in a neighborhood and I just wanted to see... Oh! I, I, I... Get out of here, bro! Why do you want to help me so much? We all deserve a second chance at a first impression. I want to dedicate this shot to my boy Elliot. One, two, three! Oh! <laughs> Jesus! You don't 
to step foot in here again. Care to make a wager on that? Booze cap on. If we win, Elliot gets a bid. And if I win? How about? Keys? Yes, the whole car, moron. You're on. son get adjusted to college, not ruin his life. Just think of me as your little Jiminy Cricket. How do you feel it? How do you feel it? It's a Molly singer. Hope your second time around is fine. Give a little spanky spank. <clears throat> and that, son, is an important lesson in consent. Best friend strip. This is going to be iconic. Do it like that. You do understand this is a work trip for me. Audrey, I got you. Look at me. You're thinking about a dick. Damn it, you're right. Look at me, look at me, look at me now. I love a grand adventure. I heard that if you keep up with Chinese businessmen, they respect you more. <laughs> listen up, listen up, listen up. Oh my god, you're a drug dealer? You gonna plug or are you gonna play? Is that a condom? You look like you've had a lot of things in your asshole. Uh, not a lot of things, just one thing, but maybe different varieties of that one thing. Look at me, look at me. If you do not know where you come from, how do you know who you are? I'm just a garbage American who only speaks English. And a little golem. My precious little filthy orbits. Do you guys have that here? Yeah, we have. It's all over the world. Y'all calling me crazy. Let's just be adults. Are you horny? Sex isn't shameful, it's beautiful. Like the noises. Ow. Oh, oh. <laughs> Man. Show them. <laughs> There's some whores in this house. There's some whores in this house. There's some whores in this house. You gotta go crazy. I'm not racist. You don't like boba and you never fucked an Asian guy. Damn, still? When I masturbate, I sometimes fantasize about Splinter. He's Asian. He's a rat. He's a good father. Every sister turn on me in senior year? Might be surprised. You just need something that sets you apart. The new house mascot. I will be running for president. You are so clipped. People are really excited about Alpha. And you. Get rid of the sloth. I'm sorry, but it's you or me. People are just disappearing. She's a sloth. She can't plan that. What do you even know about those things? I know that they're slow. Slow? Did she look slow to you? Did you see the look in her eye? She's like a cute Chucky. Honestly, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Work is a nightmare, my boss hates me, and I'm this close to exploding. This close. I mean, honestly, it just sounds like you really need to get laid. All right, everyone repeat after me. Fun and female bonding! Fun and female bonding! Female bonding. What brings you and your gang up here? Just cooking at a food festival. This is so fancy! <laughs> Did you book a cabin or a dollhouse? It's what it says. At least we have shutters. We're coming in hot.
the girls took me away for the weekend. Did you ask if I was okay with this? No. Mary, you can't let him speak to you like that. He's really upset. You know, we had plans this weekend. Like what? Sucking his teeny peen and making him stay? Boo! This festival's a pressure cooker. Can you guys just get it together for five minutes? Why don't we try some pranayama breaths, okay? Do you know, the only reason we are here is for you. You are so far up your career's ass that you can't let anyone else in. Struggle is normal. It's part of life. You have to show up for the people around you and trust that they've got your back. Every time I fall, I get back up. This is Bella. Bye, bye. Bella, this is Mr. McCandles. Hello, Bella. No! She's an experiment. Good evening. Her brain and her body are not quite synchronized. But she is progressing at an accelerated pace. Tell me, where did she come from? I shall. For it is a happy tale. I am Bella Baxter, and there is a world to enjoy, circumnavigate. It is the goal of all to progress, grow. A woman plotting her course to freedom. Oh. How delightful. Anniversary. Dan, my husband, he's an amazing dad. You almost ready to go to size 4S, huh? Are you so big? Look at the big muscles. I just wish our lives were bigger. Really? At least let me put my kid down. <laughs> Sorry about the mess. Hold on. Oh, hey, Bo. Hey, Dan. Don't hang up. I need no identities, I'm burnt. Me, my wife, and three kids. Have you told them yet? I'll tell them when I'm on the road. Meet me in Vegas in three days. This is crazy. <laughs> oh my God, we're going to Vegas! Woo! Oh, yes. so pumped. Nothing brings the family together like a road trip. Oh, I stop. Collaborate and listen. I, I suspect back with a brand, brand new adventure. Bitches. Something. Grab Please stop. Me tightly. <laughs> Five hours on a plane or 33 hours in a car? Can someone unlock the car, please? Call in everybody. I want him found. <laughs> what was that? A little pothole. Maxie's been up the whole time, by the way. Where's that? Before I met your mom, I was a covert assassin. I escaped that life, and now they found us. <laughs> What the? Being your husband and their father? That's the real me. You're like James Bond in a minivan? I love that minivan. Da, 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 da. <laughs> I need to be that guy one last time for us. Look at you playing the family man. I'm not playing. This is my life. Hey. I'm kind of into spontaneous dance. Wait, wait. Go. Mwah! New record. Eyes on the fire, Sam. Come! Earthlings! 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 
commies and vegans and tea baggers weep. That's not Merry Christmas, Dave. Now listen up, folks. We've all known that aliens are real. Hey, I brought you some. That's right. Since Roswell crashed in 1947, right? Who is this? One of my parolees. Since that time, designer viruses are calling the week while endless quarantines are stripping all the innocent survivors. Oh. What's he in for? Since the pandemic began, conspiracy theorists have targeted 5G cell towers. Well, hello there, 5G. He's got a good heart. Good heart, don't fix a bad brain. You damn spooks, you think you can take me out that easy? We need to get ourselves gone. Why? For starters, baby, the house is on fire and I'm a pyromaniac thrice convicted. You are a convicted arsonist. Pyromania is not a crime. I say we better get to Granny's. Grannies? You don't remember what you tried to offer me with the rocket launcher? Yeah, that's why she sold it. What have you done? Disco explosion! Your client is in violation of his parole. He is a fugitive. Who in the heck are you yelling at? Granny, remember Irene? Are you off your meds again? I've been Eyes on the fire, Sam. Eyes on the fire, Sam. Hey, boy. How do you know them words? And I know everything about you, Bill. Like this. Get to soaking them hogs. Convicted arsonist, and all of a sudden his oven just happens to explode. I did not burn down my own house. Sam, have you taken your meds today? They got blown up. I'm trying to be a good man. Oh, Sam, what did you do? Daddy! Do you ignite me? You light my finest fire, baby. Don't be such a victim. You might want to sweep the house for innocence before you burn it to the ground. Damn! You cannot run, okay? They will shoot you. What's with you guys in the butt stuff? Simple question. You have issues. I've been made. What are you staring at, Bird Brian? Come on. Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh, he's it. Oh, he's it. Oh, Diane, meet the tailor. You've done well there, old man. I thought she was your carer. Yeah, it's nice to see you too, Jeff. Listen, Julie. I think this one's yours. Well, we're all going to the same place. I told them to take the first one. We can just follow in the one foot fight. Jeff. You're joking, right? Bloody oh, hell. Bloody hell. Sorry, but who on earth would book to stay in a place like this? Bug, shuff, shuff, bird. It's almost right. I have got an incredible sense of deja vu. And we've got your suitcase here. Ah, uh, we realize. Oh dear. I shall take you to Hotel Shaft. No, no way. Oh. I don't know what will happen. Whenever I think about the future, I. What's up, Oh my god! My two favorite people in the world. What are the chances? Yeah, what are the chances? I think I know how to get down a ski slope. She knows how to stop. I don't think she knows how to stop. H knows you're gonna pop the question for Christmas. All right. Please, stop worrying about B. This isn't about B. This is about me and you. And what happens outside of the bubble that we've created for ourselves. I don't think there's a man out there who truly deserves to marry my daughter. Why don't we bring a bit of Macclesfield Christmas here? We are meant to be, you know that. Christmas to me. Santa Rudolph, let's fly!